Hi, welcome to the Cook's Demo. Today, we're gonna to cook sea bream. Now I know whole fish is something a lot of people try and stay away from. We like to get our fish filleted and uh, ready to be cooked. And you can do that with this recipe because I am going to fillet it. But if you can get whole fish, um, fresh whole fish, that'll be uh, taste-wise far, far better. Um, but also a lot of what I'm gonna do you can buy whole fish and get your fishmonger or the uh, fish uh, person, you know, whoever's behind the counter uh, to do a lot of this for you. So I bought this whole and uh, it's very simple to prepare. Uh, you take a knife, you cut it down the middle of its uh, stomach area, if you will, and just spoon all this stuff out that's in here and give it a wash. And then under running water, uh, using the back of a spoon or, uh, or a fork or something blunt, you just run it uh, against the skin, just flaking off all the um, all the scales. So then, to your left, with this nice smooth uh, skin, and then just cut off the fins. Just run a knife there and just cut those off. And then you can do the same with the uh, these top bits if you want. Um, but we don't have to. I'm going to do that later when I uh, fillet it. Um, but that's basically it, it's not difficult. But if you want, just get someone to do it for you and that's perfectly fine. Okay, so there are multiple ways to cook this and uh, <clears throat> to prepare this. There are some that would do very little and would cook the entire fish and get every scrap of meat uh, from the entire fish. Uh, there are those that uh, want this as cleaned as possible. So I'm gonna do the full service here. Um, but you can, if you like, um, leave it whole and uh, fry it uh, wholly, or you know, with the skin, a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other. That's up to you. Um, this is quite a big fish to do that with, and you run the risk of burning the skin before you cook it properly on the inside. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so what we're gonna do, the gill is here, and the fin, the big fin that was here is, is, is right there. And what we want to do is just behind that fin, we want to cut the head. And the next thing we want to do is just cut off the tail. So we've got that off as well. And now we're going to want to fillet the fish down the middle. So I won't use this knife, it's too big for filleting. But what we'll do now, using a smaller knife, what we want to do is Put our knife right above the bone, the middle bone here. So we've got that middle bone here. You can feel it with the knife. Go in with the knife and feel that bone and then run the knife along that bone. That way we're filleting the fish off of that main breast bone or main bone on the inside. Let's follow that along right across. And there we have our first fillet. Now, what we can do to clean this up now, we can now cut off this little fin here. Okay, so what we can do is we can feel with our fingers where the bones are, and then with a pair of tweezers, just pull out all the bones. There we go. Just keep doing that. Just run your fingers along wherever you feel a bone, then grab it with the pair of tweezers and pull it out. Okay, so with our fish now filleted, ready to be cooked, uh, you want a couple of pieces of garlic. Just, uh, just slice them up into thin pieces. Okay, so we want to get some plastic wrap or cling film. Just spread some out onto the table. We want to get our olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And just uh, apply some to the cling film. Get our garlic. Spread that around. 
a little sprinkling of salt okay then we want to get our fillets and spread them in that garlic oily mixture and salty mixture let's get another one as well let's get that to pick up all that garlic flavor a little more sprinkling of salt over the skin and now what we want to do is wrap the fish tightly into this do the same with the second piece that plastic there and just keep wrapping it over and we're just going to leave that for half an hour or so just to let it marinate in there for a little bit okay so for the next part of our recipe we need the following items six strips of smoked uh, streaky bacon half a red onion, about 100 grams of peas, 20, 30 grams of uh, flat leaf parsley, which we're going to chop up, and a little mint, either homemade dried mint that you have yourselves, or even some fresh mint, that'd be fine. Um, whatever, but it's just like a, a pinch of this and we'll chop it up and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. So, <clears throat> first things first, Move these things out of the way. I'm going to rough cut my parsley. To that, I'm going to add just a pinch of mint. And I'm going to put them straight into my parsley, my chopped parsley. There we go. Just crush them with your fingers. And just drop that straight in. Just a pinch is all it needs. And the next thing to prepare is our smoked bacon. We just want to cut it into like postage stamp kind of sizes. There we go. So each one is roughly, you know, like a postage stamp kind of size. Okay, so get some water onto a boil. Take our fish packet and drop it straight in. And then turn your heat down to a medium high because we want it to to keep boiling and set your timer for six minutes that's all that's going to take okay while the fish is uh, cooking away we can now get everything else ready get your pan on to a medium high heat and spoon in about 10 to 15 grams of butter and before it gets too hot throw in the bacon I mean, we do want to fry them, but we want to give the fat an opportunity to render as this heats up. So just drop in that bacon. And you can turn the heat up, like I said, to medium high. Once you can see that your oil fluid in here has you know, got a lot more, which means we've rendered some of this fat out into this. We can now turn the heat up so we can start to fry off this bacon and get it more golden and while that's happening we can also throw in our onions and start getting them to soften and golden we get those in there as well obviously putting in the onions will reduce the heat a little bit we'll cool it down Okay, so our timer's gone off, our fish is ready, six minutes. All we've got to do is just lift it out and just put it to one side, just for it to cool down uh, for a few minutes before we continue with it. 
Okay, so our onions are starting to change color. They're starting to brown or golden, and we don't want too much of that. So now what we can do is add in our peas. Mix those in. Turn our heat down to between medium and low. And we can throw in our parsley mint mixture. And just mix that around. As you can see, the temperature is coming down because the peas were cool, and that's fine. Do not turn the heat back up. We're just going to wait for the pan to naturally come up to heat, and that's when we're done. Okay, so this is ready, and we can put it to one side, ready to um, put the dish together. Okay, so once our fish is finished, uh, uh, you know, poaching, we now want to get it out carefully from our cling film. I'm going to get rid of any of the garlic, we're not going to be using that. We want to give it another little sprinkle of salt on the skin. Another little drizzle of olive oil. And let's really massage that in because we don't we want to try and eliminate it from sticking too much on the pan. Okay, so have a pan on high heat. And then we can put the fish skin down straight into the pan. Fish is now ready, and we can now place it onto our dish. And there we have it sea bream, delicately cooked, uh, perfect for the summer. Such a light dish, fresh flavors, especially with that mint, the fresh parsley. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, cooked delicately in water first, poached, and then flash fried that skin just to get it a little bit crispy. Let's see what it's saying. Listen to that skim, so crispy. <laughs> One of my all time favorites, I absolutely love this dish. Let's try some of the, the vegetables. The peas still have a bit of a bite deliciously sweet that mint just the hint of that mint it's absolutely fantastic and you can never go wrong with that savory bacony flavor in there in the background as well oh my god that's so good let's look at this fish look how perfect that is Delicate white fish, cooked to perfection. That's so good, I hope you guys give it a try. 
Uh, please like, subscribe, and leave comments. If you're not sure about something or you want to ask me something, don't forget to do that. Anyway, thank you for watching.